The new platform of the Democrat Party is to abolish ICE. In other words, they want to abolish immigration enforcement entirely. That's what they want to do. They want, they want everybody coming in. We will not stand for these vile Democrat smears against our law enforcement. And that includes our great police. That includes our great border patrol. That includes our military, where they're always fighting against funding for the military. You saw that clown yesterday on the Statue of Liberty. You see the guys that went up there? I wouldn't have done it. I would have said, let's get some nets and let's wait till she comes down. Just get some nets, really. You see those guys, the bravery of doing that? What a group. Because I see it. I see the way they're right. They're so damn dishonest. And I don't mean all of them, because some of the finest people I know are journalists. Really, hard to believe when I say that. I hate to say it, but I have to say. But 75% of those people are downright dishonest. Downright dishonest. They're fake. And I might even end up having a good relationship, but they're going, will President Trump be prepared, you know, President Putin is KGB and this and that. You know what? Putin's fine. He's fine. We're all fine with people. Will I be prepared? Totally prepared. I've been preparing for this stuff my whole life. They don't say that. They don't say that. Let's say I'm debating Pocahontas, right? I promise you I'll do this. I will take, you know those little kits they sell on television for $2? Learn your heritage. Guy says, I was born in Scotland. It turns out he was born in Puerto Rico, and that's okay. It's good. You know. Guy says, I was born in Germany. Well, he wasn't born in Germany. He was born someplace else. I'm going to get one of those little kits. And in the middle of the debate, when she proclaims that she's of Indian heritage, because her mother said she has high cheekbones. That's her only evidence, that her mother said she had high cheekbones. We will take that little kit and say, but we have to do it gently. Because we're in the Me Too generation, so we have to be very gentle. And we will very gently take that kit and we will slowly toss it, hoping it doesn't hit her and injure her arm. <laughs>